my name is Christopher Lind and I want to welcome you to the video introduction of my blog on the moral economy. This is the May 2009 column, What's Fairness Got to Do With It? This column talks about the values of the moral economy and uses as the illustrations the recent events related to the economic crisis. Uh, there's a common idea that morality has nothing to do with economics. And this is uh, an idea that's driven most of the policy discussion about economics for the last 30 years anyway. Um, and the uh, truth of the moral foundations which undergird our uh, economic understandings and activity uh, erupts uh, in times of uh, economic crisis and they're expressed in situations like uh, workers in France kidnapping uh, factory executives when the uh, executives are trying to uh, lay off workers or it's revealed by uh, pensioners in Scotland uh, picketing the home of a re uh, newly retired bank executive who's had an enormous pension when they've uh, lost their savings. Uh, or it's uh, illustrated by um, activists in New York organizing bus tours of the uh, homes, the expensive homes of wealthy executives in Connecticut. Uh, to show the difference between uh, how people's livelihoods are being destroyed and how the people who are the engineers of this are still enjoying um, an enormously comfortable life. These events illustrate the moral standards that we expect to be applied uh, to our economic affairs. And so this column deals specifically with the moral concern for fairness. What's fairness got to do with it? I published the Moral Economy column in the Western Producer, Canada's largest farm newspaper, every six weeks. I also publish it on the internet through this website and by email. If you'd like to receive a copy of the Moral Economy column whenever it's produced, just send me a message to office at christopherlynn.ca and I'll add you to the list. I hope you enjoy the column.